So when you're composing, do you actually hear the different instruments in your head and where you want to put everything? Sometimes. Sometimes it's also about playing around. Um, sometimes I don't envision it until I'm like, oh, I wonder what th that would sound like if I uh, played some harmonica on it. Because, you know, there's an uh, empty part in the song, uh, and that's something that happened on one shot, is I don't usually play harmonica on that when I just am performing it I, uh, live. Um, it, it's not really as uh, interesting as a, of a harmonica part to me, but when I was recording it, it just didn't sound Western enough. It didn't sound old West. Like, you know, in some of those old West tunes like the spaghetti westerns you have those something whistling or some harmonica in the background that's that's full of reverb so it's like let me just try the harmonica on this and see if i can give it a little bit more western vibe and that's something that was an example of it didn't really click in my head i didn't really hear it until i actually tried it uh, i tried to whistle and record it but whistling is really hard to do and make it sound good <laughs> you know what what I think is neat, the ballads that you have, I think they were more common like in the 60s. And of course, like you're talking about the spaghetti westerns with Clint Eastwood and that sort of thing. This is something that isn't being done a lot today. And, and you're carrying on that tradition. And I think you're introducing it to a whole new generation that are saying, hey, this is pretty cool. I hope so. And I know that there are a lot of people who are looking for those older vibes that aren't like the people that their parents liked, right? Because maybe mm -hmm. uh, if you're a little bit younger, you love Johnny Cash, but you know your your parents also like Johnny Cash, and it's like, well, I want a little bit something to listen to that I found that maybe I can introduce to my parents or to other people in my family. So sure. I know that's happening a lot with an artist uh, by the name of Coulter Wall. He's really doing very well in that sort of. Uh, in that sort of scene where younger folks are listening to his music, which is very much of that uh, Johnny Cash vibe, and then they're sharing it with the folks who really like uh, Johnny Cash too, and then everybody's just getting together and just enjoying that music together. I'm, I'm hoping that I can sort of enter in that world as well, um, I, and I hope that One Shot can get me there. You no, know, you are. I can tell you that for a fact because I know mm -hmm. that uh, I've been sharing your music with other, other people. I know that Shelly's been sharing your music. I mean, it's, Come here, listen to this. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's happening for you, whether you realize it or not. I mean, you're you know, obviously you can't be in everybody's homes at the same time, and, and, but it, it's happening. Uh, do, do you feel like you're more popular and it's getting out there better now than say two years ago, right now? Yeah, totally, one hundred percent. What I was doing two years ago um, wasn't getting as much traction at not even close to what it is now. I, I think I'm, I'm probably getting about 10 times as much traction because the videos that I was putting up back then were getting like 20 views. Um, and now the music videos that I put up are getting more like 200 views. Um, yeah. And yeah. that's and that's not even including the kinds of boot videos that I make. Those get thousands of views, but when I put up music videos, they get significantly less. But it's so much more, so much more than what it used to be, which is excellent. Yes, thank you and, so much for sharing my music. Well, we, oh, well, we, I would we, love it. And, and and actually, Shelley, I believe Jeremiah's last bit is still one of her more highly rated uh things that 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 we've done and you know and we share it then with the with other groups um the uh that the texas or the truckers christmas group and yep yep like they're so cool i've seen them on a, a lot of my content since then too so it's been awesome yeah so it's it's happening thank you so yeah. much i appreciate it it'll be a lot of fun I, I'm, I'm 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 excited for you i really am Thank you. It's it's programs like this and people like you who uh, who make it possible for musicians to to do their thing. So it really means a lot. Well, and I love to introduce uh, new genres and things that are not being done in the mainstream because music is is all about variety, and and that's what makes it so rich and wonderful. And you do subs you do a great job of storytelling. 
And that really is what music's about, too. People forget that. It, it isn't just a melody. It's the message and the lyric, and, and you've got a great storytelling ability. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. I always like to also think about uh, John Denver, too, because he was so mm -hmm. yeah, good at that. Yeah. That's a good one, yeah. yeah. You know, because he made you feel when he told a story that you were actually home, even if you're not from West Virginia. People in Germany love, uh, you know, the Take Me Home Country Road song, but sure. they've probably yeah. never even set foot there. But they, well, they absolutely love it and they feel like it's home. You know, there's a sci-fi movie that the whole key to the movie to get somebody to, to move from one place to another was they were playing Take Me Home, West Virginia. <laughs> You know, and so the, you know the 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 whole idea was John Denver's still big, you know, two hundred years from now. Oh sure, I wouldn't be surprised in the least. Well, I think he, you know, if it's something, you know, the fact that he uh, hadn't died tragically, I think he'd still be very popular, and he'd still be producing records that people want to hear because he had a great message. And I mean, as soon as you said, take me home country roads, that melody is in my head. Right. So, I mean, he really yeah. knew yeah. how to create that earworm and that hook. <laughs> he did. He did. Mm -hmm. He was so talented. It's such a shame that he left us so soon. Mm. Yes. I was definitely bummed because I really liked him a lot. We're going to be listening to Dusty Vines, which is off your new album. Uh, if you want to tell us a little bit more about that, I know you kind of touched on it uh, earlier in our last segment, but um, yes. for those who may have just tuned in. Yeah, this is a song that I wrote about the wine that they make in Arizona. When you think about Arizona, you don't think that they're uh, making any wines in the middle of the desert. But yeah, they, I would never think of that. Yeah, actually. right. And they are, but and it's really good too because the fruit has to struggle, and it brings something really interesting to the wine and how it tastes, especially the Syrah. I love Arizona Syrah. I think it's the best varietal coming out of that state. I'm not familiar with that. What is Syrah? It's just a, a grape. So the okay. the wine, all of the wines, they have a different grape that they're made out of. I think there's there's got to be like a hundreds or so. Okay. And um, the Syrah is just a type of grape, a species of grape that has its own uh, characteristics over, say, I don't know, a, a Merlot or a Pinot mm -hmm. Noir. Okay. All, both of those are reds too, but... I don't think that that Arizona's making any of those, and if they do, they wouldn't be as good as, say, an Oregon or something. Sure, right. That that would make absolute sense. Well, we're going to be listening to uh, "Dusty Vines" by Jeremiah Craig. This is off his new album that just dropped today. Life is for taking chances. You're listening to TNC Radio Live, the Truckers Network Radio Show. I'm Shelley Johnson here with Tom Kelly, and. Let's listen to Dusty Vines by Jeremiah Craig. Yes, the West is still wild when you look only for miles, but there's a new kind of gold rush this time. Bring in the riches straight to your lips. It's the wine from these dusty vines. 